welcome to Gubin and this is the uh, former uh, red house of Gubin, the former town hall and this is now called Gubin with I the end. And this is in Poland and there used to be um, tram tracks and there used to be tracks here in this place and uh, they are leading towards the bridge and across the bridge there is Germany and that's not Gubin anymore that is Guben with E so Polish one is with I before end and German town is with E before end both are Guben or Gubin and in now and in the past uh, especially in the past they were really one united town in Germany then this part where I am now became part of Poland and then there was a um, Hard border here, not not there in curtain style because this was in GDR, German Democratic, German uh, Democratic Republic. But there was a border here, and uh, towards the end of it, uh, towards the end of the passport control here, so all what was required were the uh, the um, IDs um, for European Union citizens and of for non-EU citizens. Of course, it was a separate story. So they needed visas to each Germany and in Poland or Schengen and Poland towards the end. And now Poland is also part of Schengen and it's possible to cross this bridge without any customs and any passport control. So, but towns are still called separately because they belong to different countries, but it makes it easier for people to communicate with each other. And you can see there is quite a lot of traffic, uh, people traffic on the bridge. So, interesting about how these border communities live, so I don't know how many relatives are, um, people have between these two places, but at least people can communicate. And the difference between these two places is obviously the language. So here it was the Polish language used, and in Germany it's German language, and the currency as well, despite the fact they are part of the European Union, but they still use different currencies. So Germany is using euros and um, uh, Poland is using Polish Zloty. So now I'm going to cross the bridge onto, onto German side so you can see the signs uh, that it's the border. So for example here and uh, now I'm actually crossing the border. So here on the left you can see the from um, customs house so the Polish signs. So, and this river is called Nisa, as you can see, and that is effectively the border between the two countries. This viewpoint that way, a little bit windy because it's open space, and over here you can already see the German sign saying Guben, Stadt Guben, so you see that's e, Guben with E and uh, 